Hi guys, welcome to my first studio vlog on this channel. I actually started recording this yesterday um, when I filmed my new intro video, but I didn't really do much of a vlog intro, so I thought I would just do that now. Last night I started on packing up my biggest order yet, and I have recorded it, um, most of it, which I will insert in a moment, but it turned into a bit of a disaster. So she ordered quite a few products, um, three Christmas pins, a necklace, and two sticker sets, and I also gave her a free ornament because that was my biggest order, so it was kind of like a thank you. But she ordered so much, and because she ordered it in gift wrap, which pads it out, it didn't fit in the box. So I spent about 15 to 20 minutes wriggling it around, trying to get it to fit, before I realised I'm just going to have to ship it in two separate boxes. So it turned into a bit of a disaster, but I did film it, so I'll insert that in a second. I'm about to start packing my biggest order yet. She ordered most of my Christmas collection other than ornaments. So the lighting in here isn't great because I have a daylight lamp on, but she ordered all three of my Christmas edition pins, which includes the Red Stocking, Gingerbread Man, and Rudolph the Red Reindeer. She also ordered a Christmas pudding necklace and both of the sticker sets that I have available. So the first one is the gingerbread bundle and this includes gingerbread, Oopsie daisy. Candy Jane, their gingerbread house, and a little gingerbread love heart. I say little, it's bigger than her. <laughs> and then she also ordered the separate Christmas sticker collection. So that comes with a Christmas tree, a little snowman, a snowflake, that also comes with gingerbread, and it comes with a robin. There is a repeat sticker there. But she said in an email that she shared the Halloween box she bought out with her sisters, so I'm sure it doesn't matter that there's a duplicate, they can just share them. She also ordered gift wrap on all of the items, like I have the option available on each listing to buy gift wrap, but the way I'm meant to do gift wrap is basically all of the items get packaged and then they put in one big sheet of brown paper, fold it up and tie to the ribbon, or a piece of twine. And that's how it was meant to go. So I don't know whether I want to offer um, individual gift wrap so that each product comes in brown paper or whether I want to do it that you just get the whole box in brown paper. I haven't figured it out yet but I spoke to her and she said that I'm okay to just wrap them all together like I did originally so that's what I'm going to be doing. First of all these need to go all in their individual packaging to keep them nice and secure. Pins just go in these little handmade tissue paper bags. The reason that I put tissue around pretty much everything I ship out is it protects from dust and also it protects from like the pin backs scuffing themselves or the glazing catching itself. Generally it's just to keep them as protected as possible. The little Christmas pudding will go in a white organza bag and then that also goes in a tissue paper bag the same as the others. The colours I use are kind of meant to be festive, but also I just use what I have available. So in this case there's quite a lot of green going on. Sometimes I have purple, some of my other ones go out in pink. It just depends what I have cut ready. And then because she A is my biggest order and B ordered gift wrap on everything but is just getting like one gift wrap, I've also decided to include one of these little ornaments that I sell in the shop. It is a gold shooting star ornament made of clay. I already have one packaged up here. The two sticker bundles, they're going to go into these little envelopes, which I have checked, they do just fit in the box. So I might have to wrap these in a brown paper individually just to keep them separate. So basically these just have a piece of backing card in and then they have a little warning, which might be flipped. Um, Basically it just says the sticker paper may tear or leave a residue when removed, meaning the best use in your sketchbook, scrapbook or other areas in which they're less likely to be removed. Which is true, unfortunately the sticker paper isn't great, it does leave a bit of residue. But I can't really help that, that's out of my control. Obviously when they're going in a box they don't really need the backing card, that's just an extra precaution. And then if somebody orders stickers individually, this is basically how they'll get them. 
So this is the package for the gingerbread bundle. So I'll just make sure that I have all four stickers in that bundle. And then these go inside the envelope. If I can get them in, hello. <laughs> and then the same for the Christmas collection. To seal the two envelopes closed, it looks a little bit silly, but I have these little present stickers. I just drew these by hand with alcohol markers. So I'm just going to seal the stickers with these, the sticker envelopes. I also thought that was quite cute because it adds a little festive touch. But this, if you couldn't tell, is recycled brown paper from an Amazon order and that's what I use to do gift wrap orders. For some reason to me, I like the crinkly look. Some people might not like it, but it is more eco-friendly. I had to start filming and noticed I have another order from my website, so I'll check that in a minute. I do have a concern that these are not going to fit in these little letter boxes because these are quite thick with the card in. But I'll have a mess around with it and see what I think. Unfortunately, it seems this washi tape is not the most uh, effective at securing brown paper, so I think I'm going to cut out another one of these little stickers to seal this bit. I think that works. I'm also going to put a little Made With Love sticker on the front of the bundle. I usually use these to seal my white tissue paper, but that box is going to be wrapped differently. So I figured I would use it on the front. Add a little handmade touch. I'm going to take some quite strategic planning to figure out how to lay out these pins in a way that will get them all to fit in the box. So this may have to be a time lapse, because I'm not the best at this kind of thing. When I offered gift wrap on my shop, I never thought I would be in the position where I'm actually struggling to get them all to fit in the box. It was literally a never a thought that crossed my mind. And yet here I am, trying to figure out how on earth I'm going to get them all to fit. This I'm going to wrap separately because it's a freebie and I have other freebies to go in my boxes. to stop my battery died and it's probably a good thing because I very quickly realized that this wasn't going to fit in one box so I now have all the products individually wrapped split into two boxes and my theory that I'm going to test once I've added the thank you card and the business card is trying to put them in one envelope and then I will test myself if it fits within the um, small I think it's classes no it's class a large letter I'll test myself if it fits within the large letter category because as you can see I've done damage to the box and then if it doesn't fit in that category I will just have to send her two individual boxes. I don't have larger boxes because I've never had an order this size before so yeah this was a bit unexpected but I'll figure it out and I'll get them sent off to her as soon as possible. The other thing that I need to do either today and then kind of over tomorrow the next few days um, is to paint and send off a kind of custom piece, part of a giveaway. I did a giveaway on my TikTok when I hit 1k and part of that was a customizable necklace so it's like a Pac-Man ghost but they could choose whatever colour they wanted. So I picked the winner and spoke to him about the prizes and he wanted a rainbow ghost so I need to paint that. And then he also ordered a necklace after winning so I'm going to package them all up in one box and get them sent off to him hopefully tomorrow along with that big order. Once that's done, I need to send off some digital work. I made a Christmas print, I would show you, but I don't know where it is. Um, <laughs> I made a Christmas print, which I printed off myself as a test. It's an A6 size, so basically a postcard. And I quite like the way the print turned out. It's quite cute and I kind of got some good response with it. There's a few people would say they would want it. So I'm going to send it off to Banana Print and they print postcards and I can get 25 for like less than eight pound which is pretty good so 
gonna get those sent off and then what I also am considering doing is they do like free business cards so you spend about three pound postage but you can get 50 cards without paying the actual cost of them just the postage so I think that I might make a really really basic business card design and ship off a few more I do have quite a few business cards already probably about 100 because I got 250 at the time which was a mistake but these cards have my Etsy name on so all of my current orders are coming off my own website a big cartel website and what I'm having to do is print off little pieces of sticker paper and cut it like cut it out and stick it over the business card because it has the wrong name on it but when my Etsy shop comes back on again I do want to run the two side by side so I think I'm just going to make some super cheap super simple business cards so that if somebody orders from Etsy they can have an Etsy business card and then if they order from my own website they can have my own business card just to kind of keep it looking a little bit more professional so that's kind of the goals for the next few days is to get those sent off the thing that I want to try and get done over the next few days is I made this painting on a thin canvas board the light in here isn't fantastic right now but basically as you can see it's just a monochrome snow globe and this bit's silver and it has little mushrooms inside of it and I really like this, so I need to finish the edges, um, just touch up some bits where there isn't any black paint and spray varnish this. I'm also going to scan it in to try and turn it into a print um, because I want to sell the original but I feel like it'd be cool to be able to sell prints of it. But at some point I want to replicate this but in pink and purple, so do a pretty and pink version. Um, and then again that will be varnished, scanned and turned into a print. And I don't know whether I want to do a separate paint with me video or whether I will include it in this vlog but... I'll make a decision. For now, I need to start on that custom necklace because it has to go out tomorrow and I can paint and varnish a piece of jewellery usually in an hour to an hour and a half depending on how long the paint takes to dry. There are seven colours in a rainbow but let's get started because I've left it very late. It is now like half two in the afternoon or something, probably later, so let's go. One last thing before I get into my actual work. In my new intro video yesterday I mentioned that the reason my shop kind of took off was because Quirky Dino Jewelry posted about me and I showed the dinosaur earrings yesterday. It's really hard to see on camera, I do have separate TikTok videos and Instagram posts for them but these are some of the other earrings I got, they're little pink gummy bears which go really cute with this pink hoodie that I have and my makeup and everything. So yeah, if you want really cute resin earrings I highly recommend them. I'm almost finished with the ghost pendant uh, for the custom for the giveaway winner as you saw before I was trying to film me painting it but the lights not great it is obviously winter at the minute so it's dark so I have to have a daylight lamp and so it's not great but this is how it's looking so far it just needs to be varnished and then strung um, I was just waiting to varnish it to message the winner to make sure this is how they like it and they do I also have another uh, order to package up from last night Surprisingly it wasn't a Christmas order, it tends to be around seasonal, like Christmas, uh, Halloween, I only got Halloween orders but this person ordered a black cat pin and a red mushroom pin so I'll need to get those packaged as they'll be sent tomorrow as well. And then also I printed some freebie stickers, I like to include freebies in my orders if I can so sometimes it's button badges or it's stickers but I had a bit of an incident and I don't know how I still do this because I've been running the shop for long enough and I've been working with our printer for long enough but this is how the sheet is meant to print out. I have to hand cut my stickers so it just prints like this um, these ones don't have a border but I'll just cut them by hand and then I just cut them out um, and it's a little red riding cat you can't really see on camera but yeah it's this little cat with a red coat and a red hat but I'm an idiot and accidentally printed on the back of the paper which is really annoying because it means that I now can't use the front because if people receive a sticker it'll have that on the back so I'm gonna have to use this for my own use for like label stickers or um, se packaging sealing stickers where they're not going to see the back of it but small business errors I always forget that our printer flips the paper but anyways I'm going to start cutting these out so that I can get these orders packaged up ready to go tomorrow
guys so it is now the next day it is monday please excuse how rough i look i had a really bad night's sleep but anyways uh, i managed to finish up my orders last night finished packaging and sorting them out printed all my labels and stuck them on last night save time today thank god because i ended up not getting out of bed until half 12 and it's now quarter past one um so obviously i have to be careful not to show the shipping labels but these are the boxes going out two of them are going to the same person they just didn't fit in one box um my dad's going to take these to the post office for me today because I do not feel up to going into town and given there's a pandemic the less people going out the better. So yeah he's going to take those for me and then today I need to work on a few things that weren't originally in the uh, plan so I still want to send off my prints but also last night somebody ordered my last uh, Christmas pudding necklace. Please excuse how laggy I am. I'm like a broken computer. <laughs> she ordered my last Christmas pudding necklace. Um, she's a previous customer, so they're technically out of stock as individual products, but I had one available for a mystery box, and she asked if there were any left in stock, so I was like, well, uh, there's a mystery box available. Because um, she's a previous customer, and she's bought a custom painting before, so I kind of like to give, give, give extras to the people that have supported me so much in the past. So I do need to make more of those because I wasn't sure if they sell so I only made four and they have. So I'm going to make a few more Christmas puddings and then I need to do an inventory count of my Christmas products because I didn't really write it down properly at the start of the Christmas launch. I didn't think they'd do very well. Um, I know I had quite a few ornaments but they kind of go in in mystery boxes so I need to count what I've got and write it all down, split it up and just make sure that my website is still stocked with the correct amount of items that nobody buys something and is then disappointed. So that's the plan for today, but first I need to give these to my dad, get changed and probably put makeup on, because I'm rough. day because I didn't end up filming it last night but I did send my business cards and Christmas prints off to the printers it is getting a bit late so I just wanted to get it done last night before I forget and before it gets any later so I'll quickly get my tablet up and show you the print and the cards that I have sent off the business cards are super basic uh, it's just one-sided and the back does have their uh, own branding on like the printers branding on but I'm really not bothered because it was just so that when people order from my own website they can have a business card with my own website details on rather than a business card with like a piece of sticker paper stuck over the word Etsy so that when my Etsy does get back on I can use both business cards and then if my own website, my big cartel website, starts to do a little bit better then I can always print nicer business cards in the future when I have more funding and when I think it's more necessary. So yeah, I'm just going to get the print up and show you what it is that I've got sent off. So the light is shining a little bit on my tablet screen but as you can see this is the print design that I came up with, my digital design. It's called Ginger Wonderland and this is Gingerfred and this is Candy Jane. Um, they're my Christmas characters that I came up with. And then I did do a test print, as you can see I didn't cut it out. And this is when I realised that it was a little bit too small so I had to change the size. I am slightly worried that changing the size will affect the print quality. As you can see this quality is not bad. Um, it is like a little fuzzy, it's clearer in person than it is on camera and there are some lines but that's a printer quality issue not a drawing quality issue so I'm hoping once it goes to a proper professional printers um, and it's printed onto postcard size onto like quite thick card thicker than this I think um, it will look better so yeah that's the design that I came up with and then if I can get the website to load, uh, this tablet's very slow, if I can get the website to load I will show you the business card design that I came up with as I said, it's incredibly basic and it's not branded like my other one, but I've just got to wait for it to load because it's very slow, as you can see. So unfortunately you can't really see this, I'll just have to show you when they come. But as you can see, it's just a few little stars and it says Tiny Artist Store, I has my web link. And then this is where I made a teeny tiny little mistake and it's not major and it doesn't matter, you can't read it because this camera doesn't have a focus option, it's not great. 
But it says contact us, and then it has uh, a hyphen, and it says the tiny artist, and it has my email address. But it says contact us hyphen, and then there's no gap between the hyphen and my email address, and that it's not massively important, but it bugs me. But it's too late now. I didn't notice till I sent them off. Um, and then the bottom bits just says if you post a photo of your products on Instagram, be sure to tag us, and then it has an Instagram symbol and the tiny artist store. So yeah, really really basic, but it'll be nice just to add those into orders because my current ones which are my branded ones, have my logo on, and then it says Etsy, the tiny artist store, Instagram, and then it has Instagram at, um, and then it says a little bit of art everyone. I'm not really keen on these business cards anymore either, but they'll do for now. Um, I still have an awful lot of them left, so it'll just be nice to have two separate ones. For now, I need to go get coffee and then plan the rest of my day and start editing this vlog. I might have to end this vlog here, depending on how long the rest of my content has been. So I was just about to start recording a, another studio vlog and I realised that I never finished off this one so I'm just going to quickly summarise this video and end this here because it's getting quite long and I'm just not really sure if anyone's going to watch them to the end. If you have made it this far comment to Ginger Fred because he's a cute character and there's some exciting things coming with him but also yeah I just want to kind of stop it here and then start another one and then at the end of the week I will work out a proper schedule and how long I want my videos to be. Um, for now I'm kind of just getting back into the idea of filming. Also the last clip was me making some Christmas puddings for necklace charms. They're still not quite dry because it's air dry clay. Um, you can't really see but yeah, these are little charms. But yeah, that is the end of this video. There's going to be another studio vlog coming and also a really exciting unboxing video that includes some packaging and some new products for the shop. So if you haven't already subscribed, be sure to click subscribe to stick around for those. Uh, like this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!